Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into another makeup tutorial. Uh, this one is all about fall lips. It's all about fall for moving forward. For so we're falling forward for fall. Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. Anywho, uh, this is all about the new burgundy lip trend that's really going on. So I hope you guys love it. There's some winged liner, burgundy lips, and thanks so much for tuning in. <laughs> All right, first step is a moisturizer. As usual, I'm using a very emollient moisturizer. Next up, we've got to prep our eyes for our eyeshadow. I'm using Max Paint Pot in Painterly, which happens to be one of my faves if you don't know that by now. For our eyeshadow, I'm using Max Eyeshadow in Orb, painting that right on the lids with a synthetic brush, and it's just a flat brush. Next up, we love multi-use products, and this happens to be one of them, my Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit. I use this typically to contour and sculpt, hence the word sculpt, hint, hint, on the face. But if you find your right shade in this unique little palette from Makeup Forever, then you can definitely use it to accentuate your crease as well. Now we do want to create a little bit more depth, so I'm going to use my Smashbox Eyeshadow Trio. They have a really warm, rich brown that we're going to use in the crease to create even more depth and warmth. Now that we've put that Makeup Forever sculpting color in there to create some warmth, we're going to blend this product in for a little bit more depth and definition for our eyes. For the liner, I'm using Stila all day liquid liner. I love, 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 love this liner. It's so easy to use because it has a felt tip. So it's just like working with an ink pen. You want to get it very close to the lash line. When you're doing wing liner, keep your eyes open so you can see how it's going to look once your eye is open. Because sometimes when you close your eye, it looks a little bit different uh, when you're putting on your liner. So definitely want to make sure that you get as close to the lash line to avoid any gaps. And the same thing on the other side. Starting from that outer edge, working your way in. To give our eyeliner a little bit more depth, we are going to brush on Clinique's Gel Liner in True Black. To just accentuate, we're just gonna go right over the liquid liner that we just applied. This is gonna make it really rich, have a lot of depth, and really be intense. So you'll really be able to see that liner. And we're winging it out just a little bit underneath the eyes. And just smudging it in just there at the outer edge of the lower lash line there. Now I'm coming in with that same Smashbox shade that we use to accentuate our crease and create a little bit more depth to go over the liner and the lower lash line. Just brushing that along the lower lash line using a flat brush. All right, so for the brows, I am using Max Brow Pencil in Lingering. It's a soft brown. It's a really great brown for anyone who has uh, brunette brows. So just filling in the sparse areas of the brows, not doing too much, uh, but bold brows are definitely in the season, so you can definitely, you know, kind of accentuate that look. Now I'm just blending everything, and I've put my highlighter color in. And speaking of highlights, now we are highlighting the face with Makeup Forever's Invisible Cover Concealer. So I'm working this from just under the eye to the tops of those cheeks. This is what's really going to make your face glow. Your skin is going to appear radiant. Uh, that's what's going to do it with this kind of concealer. So now I'm working it into the skin. You really want this product to blend into the skin. So I'm using the warmth from my fingers to blend it right into my skin and working some highlights down the bridge of the nose. And again, just using my fingers, those God-given tools will never fail you ladies. Well, as long as you're using the right product. <laughs> um, but anyway, so now we're doing the contour color here. So for the contour, I'm going back to my Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit, the same shade, and working that along the cheekbones and the forehead and just really working that in. I have this great angle brush that I got at a Makeup Pro Show that's perfect for contouring the sides of the face. 
Now for the cheeks, I'm blending in Max Cream Blend Blush in Posy, just on the tops of those cheeks. And you gotta work that product in, girlfriend. Work it, work it, work it. So now I'm continuing to blend it in, now using a brush to blend in my highlight color, the, the contour color, and just making everything work there. So for the lips, which is the impact for today, <laughs> our focal point for this video, I'm using Urban Decay's Roach Lip Liner. This is a very kind of warm, mahogany tone. This is gonna go great with a more red lipstick that we're gonna use, which is Max Lipstick in Lady Danger. So this is gonna give you the perfect red with a little bit of purples. It's perfect to pull off the burgundy lip look. So we are done. Thanks so much guys for tuning in and don't forget to be tuned next time.